Hey there, everybody. You know, it's a Monday. That's all I'm going to say. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning and welcome. If you watched the first attempt at doing this show this morning, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet, you better hurry. I'm going to go delete it as soon as I'm done with this one. Hope you are having a great Monday morning so far. Uh, if you, if we haven't had the chance to meet yet, my name is Tom Rigsby and, um, this show, seven minutes in the morning is my five day a week podcast where we get together and talk about Things to help you get your day started a little bit better. Today, my day didn't start that great, so I'm starting over. That's all. And I really needed to because my topic today is be so good they can't ignore you. Can't put out a crappy podcast when I'm talking about being good. But hey, before I get to that, before we get to the details, do me a favor. When you get here, if you will drop a comment, whether you're watching live on Facebook or YouTube, this should be going out live on both this morning. Uh, drop a comment in there. Say hi. Say good morning. Let me know. Uh, give me your name and where you're watching from. Name and where you are watching from. That's always interesting to see the great diversity of folks that join us uh, live and on the replay. And if you're watching the replay, do the same. Name and where you're watching from. And if you have any questions or comments, by all means, put those in there as well. Uh, and then one quick shameless plug. Head on over to TomRigsby.com slash QOTD, quote of the day. TomRigsby.com slash quote of the day. That's where the conversation about the quote of the day happens every day. And uh, which, by the way, I publish on Instagram. Uh, every once in a while, it's a really good one. I'll put it on LinkedIn, sometimes on Facebook. But Instagram is definitely the place to follow and find those. All right, so quote of the day today, be so good that they can't ignore you from Steve Martin. It is pretty funny. You got to admit, the guy's pretty funny. Here's what I wanted to talk about today, though. Hey, Abby, good morning. Good to see you here. Um, and and thanks for helping me make sure that the, that the comments are working. <laughs> um, Here's what I want to talk about. We talk about being so good that they can't ignore you. What does that mean? What does it mean to be so good? Well, in its simplest form, I believe it means that you have to go above and beyond. Right? And you, you've got to do, I mean, if the bar is set here, you got to come in up here or maybe up here somewhere. Right? You got to be so good that, that people ask, what is she doing differently? Why is he getting ahead? When people are asking those kinds of questions about you, that's a pretty good indicator that you're doing it right. Good morning, Joe. Good to see you. Conversely, if they're not asking those questions, it's a pretty good indicator that you've still got some room to grow. All right? So when we talk about being so good that they can't ignore you, set a bar and go way beyond it. Now, if you're an employee and you get, you know, annual goals, great. Go above and beyond. If you are a first time business owner, great. Don't aim to survive, aim to thrive. Don't aim to stay in business against the coffee shop across the street. Blow them out of the water. Set the bar high and then strive to achieve it. We talk here all the time about outcomes and goals and knowing what you're trying to achieve and, and then using that as a filter for your decision making. Well, if you set the bar way up here, you know what you have to do. And then you make decisions related to that. Does this decision move me closer to or further away from my goal? And then you just keep putting together those things that move you closer. Will it be a straight line? No, we talked about this last week. It's going to zigzag a little bit. You'll be off this way, then off that way, but you're moving in the right direction. And that movement in the right direction is way more important than being perfect. Being perfect is overrated. Be so good that they can't ignore you. They might not like you, 
I'll just warn you ahead of time, people don't like uh, other people that rock the boat. Right? Everybody else, if you take you out of the equation for just a minute, and look, this has to work, right? Because it's coming from the unashamed nonconformist. If you take you out of the equation, everybody else is going to reach kind of the status quo. Not rocking the boat. The boat's just, you know, bobbing along, singing a song, doing its own thing, right? Put you into the equation, and all of a sudden the boat's rocking. Quotas are not being, I mean, look, what happens? I had um, many, many, many moons ago had a job working for a telecom company. In the early days of the internet, early days of the web, we were delivering warm leads to the sales force um, through a web browser, a web delivery vehicle. That was the name of the project. Creative, I know. So we built it, spent all this time and money building it. We had, and then we rolled it out to the sales force and nobody wanted to use it. So I went on this road show, went around to all the, the sales teams and said, hey, what's up? And they said, oh, I'm going to keep doing it the old way. And I said, well, look, I figured out all I had to do is get one person in that office to adopt it. So I'd go find the youngest, most tech savvy person and get them on board. And then about three months later, I came back around and got all kinds of questions from the uh, well-established sales force. Why is that? Well, because young uh, person over here, young guy, young gal was blowing them out of the water. Because they were only calling warm, qualified leads. Everybody else is just cold calling, you know, through the phone book, walking around the office park, whatever. So what happens when one person, when the whole team's got a quota here and everybody's meeting it, it kind of stays the same. What happens when one person goes, goes way up here? Everybody else's goes up also, right? That's why people are not going to uh, enjoy, they're not always going to enjoy you performing so well, but not about them. It's about you. Your competition across the street not going to enjoy it if you blow them out of the water. Such is life. All right? So, reminder for today. Question for the day. What are you doing today? As you approach every task today, I want you to ask, is this the best I can do? It, it, what what can I do with this task, this aspect, this element of what I'm doing to raise the bar and be better and be so good that they can't ignore me? I'd love it if you would uh, comment on that. Head over to TomRigsby.com slash QOTD, quote of the day, QOTD. That'll get you the right place to join in all the comments. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it and look forward to being back again with you tomorrow. Until then, you guys have a fantastic Monday and I'll talk to you then.